Some people have been getting a little upset lately. They don't seem to like it if you tell them that charging an electric vehicle at home can be up to one-tenth the price of gas if you charge in the early hours of the morning. They say things like, I'm only going to buy one when it would do 600 miles on a single charge that takes me five minutes to charge the car. Well, Aptera are claiming their car can do up to a thousand miles on a single charge. So I think people are going to get even more upset. Hello, I'm Nigel. I do hope you can like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching this video. Some people are also getting upset with EV drivers, like me. It reminds me of when I started cycling 20 years ago and I was called a cyclist, not paying road tax. Some people could not possibly conceive that someone who rides a bike also had a car. In fact, there were two in the household and was paying two road taxes a year. As if a cyclist had to be a cyclist and couldn't possibly do anything else. It's a bit like EV drivers now. We are the Tesla fanboys if we own a Tesla. And most have been driving for decades at diesel, petrol, gas, and just a few years electric vehicles. But now we're put in that category, EV drivers. Aptera Motor Corporation is a crowd-funded startup company based in California. It was originally founded in 2005 before going into liquidation, but was relaunched by the original founders in 2019. The Aptera is an amazing looking vehicle, quite outstanding. And as someone brought up on Jaguar E-types as a young boy and considered the Lotus Europa the ultimate design as a 17 year old, unless you had unlimited funds and could afford a Lamborghini, this is an amazing looking car. In fact, my keenness for the Lotus Europa got me into many arguments with people who thought the Lotus Elan at the time was a much better looking car. The Aptera is solar powered and the makers claim it can go up to a thousand miles on one charge or 40 miles charging with solar panels attached to it. They say you may never have to fill up ever again. Well, that's quite a claim. Lots of people are trying to find fault in it from the gas, diesel and petrol industry. And of course, many anti-EV drivers want to drive between 600 miles and 1,000 miles on a single charge before they consider buying one. So maybe this could be the ideal car for them, but somehow I don't think it's going to be. Its design makes it the most efficient car design ever built, something I can believe very much, and coupled with the solar panels, which are part of the vehicle. So if you drive 20 to 30 miles a day, like many people, you may never have to charge your vehicle ever again. If you drive further, the makers say you'll be able to use the Tesla superchargers and the Aptera can do 0 to 60 miles in under 4 seconds. The batteries will be built in South Korea by CTNS and the Aptera is 13 times more aerodynamic and efficient than a pickup truck and 3 times more aerodynamic and efficient than an average sedan or saloon car. It was about two years ago, the time I was buying my Tesla Model 3, that I first caught a glimpse on YouTube of the Aptera and thought, what an amazing looking car it really is. It's not the first car to come with its own inbuilt solar charging, but I think this is going to be a game changer. With its fantastic aerodynamic design, a very lightweight composite materials and a very efficient drivetrain. It has 32.5 cubic feet of storage, 
and although it's only a two-seater, it is very, very roomy. And even Jack from the Fully Charged show at six foot five had plenty of room when he road tested the car. So it's been in development a few years now and I just hope it's not one of those cars that we never actually see. It's got a lot of very good young people working for Aptera and they've got all sorts of contracts signed and are looking to manufacture next year, 2025. Now, you can put down a $100 deposit in the UK, but they do say that the first uh, serious manufacturing will be for the United States market. But I really do hope that this car comes along and would love to see one or maybe hire one. Not sure if my wife will allow me to buy one. Possibly not. I might be too old by then anyway. Um, but it's always a bit of a shame when brilliant designs like this are a long time coming. Yes, as I said earlier, Jack, six foot five, had plenty of room in the Aptera. So anyway, what do you think about this car? Do you think that it will never actually get on the roads? What do you think about the claims for up to a thousand miles charging or a thousand miles range on a charge? And without any charging at all, what do you think that they're claiming that it could maybe charge through the solar panels 30 to 40 miles a day? I'm sure a lot of people will point to California being a very, very sunny place. But I would argue even in the UK, where we don't get as much sun as California, if you can optimise what sunshine there is, in other words, you could be in California, but for a part of the day, the sun is shielded by trees or buildings. If you can get yourself in the UK where you get the maximum amount of sun that is available, you can do almost as well as sunnier places. Obviously, trees, buildings will need to be in the north. So when the sun does come out, then you can make the maximum amount of the solar. It'd be interesting. I'd love to have one. I'd love to know what people think about it, whether any of the Tesla Model 3 drivers could be persuaded to buy one prices well originally it was being advertised at around about just under the 30,000 pound mark I find it hard to believe that it's going to be anywhere near that but we'll obviously have to wait and see next year when they go into full-scale manufacturing or will it be full-scale manufacturing will they only be producing a few to start with who knows but it is a fantastic looking car, you have to say. It's a three-wheeler and uh, just looks fantastic and, and so futuristic. I really wish I could get my hands on one. Thank you very much for getting this far. I really do hope you can like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.